Has late night cramming for the old college exam turned into a lifelong habit? Do you find yourself tweaking a client presentation an hour before you do to deliver it? Are you still racking your brain for that perfect analogy the day before you walk into the boardroom with that big recommendation? Do you frequently find yourself still Googling stats before you need to use them at your industry meeting? If you answered yes to any of the previous questions and you'd like a little more breathing room and a bigger safety net in your planning system, consider these three following steps to prepare for a new presentation or at least to update a presentation for a new audience. One. Feed your brain a healthy diet of organic ingredients. No, I'm not talking about real foodstuffs here, although staying healthy is a good idea as well. The ingredients I'm talking about include books, self-development recordings, training products, biographies, documentaries, quotations, proverbs, inspirational messages. Of course, feeding your brain new information is not really a new idea. But what I'm talking about here is the what the why, the when, and the how to feed it. If you feed yourself, and you find yourself going stale, choose fresh organic ingredients to broaden and deepen your knowledge base. Read, listen, and think. What new perspective does this, does this give me about X topic, whatever your area of expertise is? Look for the links across industries while you're reading. What truths in the financial industry apply to engineering, for example? Or what principles in human relationships apply to technology? Or what was true in the 18th century biography that I'm reading that's still true today? Those are the kind of organic links I'm talking about. Second, consider questions rather than answers to beef up those presentations. As you think about a new audience, rather than start with what information you have to give them, begin by considering what questions they'd ask you if your presentation were an interview. How are their interests related to your topic? Think for a moment. What's a day in the life of for them? What's their biggest challenge? Why should they care about what you have to say? How does what you have to say solve a problem for them? Know their questions. What's in their head in this pile of information you now have to shape, to put in perspective, and then interpret that information for their ultimate purpose, the ultimate purpose that you might have for your presentation. Third, simmer well in your subconscious. Years ago, Chiffon Margin produced a popular TV commercial with this line, It's not nice to fool Mother Nature. My sentiments exactly. Although I'm not a neuroscientist or a psychologist, I do know that you can't rush the brains in a working at the subconscious level. Once you provide the input about your audience, their interests, their everyday tasks, their problems to solve, your subconscious will go to work looking for answers along the data that you've stored up, your diet of those other resources, and then combine them with your own expertise, your own experiences. Give it enough time for all this information to simmer together. Usable ideas will pop to your subconscious mind, but clearly, the success of this third step depends on the first two, those fresh inputs and time. It's much this, the, the same in making a baby. This process takes about nine months, give or take a few weeks. As a result of this three-prong preparation process, all of a sudden, you'll become conscious of a core message, a suitable structure, and appropriate illustrations. Take the time. You can't fool Mother Nature.